Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 23 of Vlogmas. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I make delicious oxtails and gravy. All right, let's get started. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is just show you the packs of oxtails that I bought. And this this one is, both of them are from Sam's. Now, you know the last time I cooked oxtails, I bought them from Sunny's, and these are a whole lot bigger and they look just a little healthier. Okay, so this one pack was 33.16 and it's four big pieces in there. This one pack is 32.48 and there's four big pieces in here too. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get these cleaned up. And I've had these in the freezer since I bought them. Pay no attention to that right there. I thought them out overnight and they're ready to go. But once you get these, get them home, put them in the freezer. If you're not gonna make them right then, then they'll last for probably about six months or longer, it depends. But I bought these probably in November sometime. All right, and I've been saving them to cook for Christmas. I've got the first pack open and look at all of this meat that we have in this one pack. Okay, I thought it was gonna be just four big pieces, but actually maybe they cut up a whole tail. And this is all of the pieces that they have in here. So <laughs> somebody gonna be sucking on some bones later on today. Look at there, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish washing this up get the other pack open and clean and then we're going to put them on the wall on the stove so that we can brown them and then we're going to put them in the crock pot this is two whole packs of ooh, the oxtails y'all look this is a deep colander so this thing is slammed full of meat okay look at that all right what i'm doing now is I'm going to take you to the stove with me so we can get our pans heated up and i'm going to be using some avocado oil to brown them in Okay, my pans are good and warm now. So what I'm gonna do is pour the avocado oil in there. And I'm gonna bring you closer once I get these in here. But I want the pan to be coated. I'm running out, so I'm gonna have to buy some more of this. And avocado oil, to me, is just really like olive oil. And you wanna coat that pan pretty good. Don't want anything to stick. All right. Here we go. We've got them frying to good. We're gonna let those cook for a little while. And to keep my stove from being messed up, we're gonna put these splatter screens on top of them. These are just some cheap 
splatter, splatter screens that I bought from Walmart. This is seasoning salt. I'm not going to put too much salt in here because I'm going to be using two packs of lip and onion soup mix in here too. Black pepper. And granulated garlic.
All right, so the pan is off, but it's still hot. So it's still gonna be sizzling somewhat. So what we're gonna do is start layering. Look at that, how deep and brown that first piece is. That's just gonna be so much added flavor. I'm gonna put all of these in here. And we're gonna do this by layers. Now, last time I didn't have this much, so I'm gonna be increasing my ingredients. Oh yeah. And I'm going to de deglaze this pan like they have a lot of flavor in the bottom of it but I, I'm sure it does so I'm gonna pour the excess grease off then I'm going to deglaze it with one cup of chicken broth and pour it in here okay I'm gonna only gonna use two cups of chicken broth this time so you see how much fat comes off of those uh, oxtails they're really fatty okay now for my added flavor I'm going to put some more black pepper black pepper not a whole whole lot though because I don't want this to be too hot I'm gonna put some granulated garlic then I'm gonna add a little more seasoned salt and for this one, I'm going to put one envelope of Lipton Onion Soup Mix. Then I'm going to Put one layer of onions. Now I don't have these chopped real fine because we love onions and we like to have the pieces in there that we can see and taste. Okay. This right here is my minced garlic. The first time or the last time I made it, I used um, fresh garlic bulbs. Now I'm going to just put fresh garlic in here. All right, so that's the first layer. Now we're gonna add the second layer of oxtails. my last layer of flavor a little more pepper that's it because I don't want to get too heavy some more garlic granulated garlic I'm not gonna put the seasons off this time I'm going to put another envelope of Lipton Onion Soup Mix. You can use any flavor that you like. Mine is just regular. Okay, then we're gonna add the onions. Out the way. And these are going to simmer down Next is the last of the garlic. Okay, and we'll probably come down here halfway through and give it a stir to get everything moved around a little bit. Then we're gonna add the broth. We're just going to clean down the sides of the frying pans. That is what deglazing is. 
You just want all the flavor you can get. Gonna get both of them. And this is just two cups of the chicken broth. Okay. That's all those good pieces of flavor in there. And we're gonna just pour that over our oxtails. Okay. I'm gonna just pour that over them. There we go. That's all the moisture we need. Everything else is just gonna cook down. Everything's gonna be really, really flavorful. All right, now we're gonna let these cook on high for six hours. And my crock pot is programmable. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it off. All right, so this right here, crock pot I bought from Bed Bath & Beyond. And you turn it on by hitting the power. Then you're gonna select your power. I'm sorry, you're gonna turn it on by hitting the power. You're gonna select your temperature and then you're gonna just ra raise the length of time. And this is gonna be six hours, let's say six and a half, okay? And that's all you have to do. It's gonna sit right there for six and a half hours and then we're gonna be able to eat some good crock pot oxtails. The oxtails have cooked for six hours on high and they're good and done. They are fork tender. But what I'm gonna do is let them cool off out here on the counter. Then I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator overnight so I can get some of this uh, grease off of them. All right, and then I'm gonna make the gravy for them. All right, so y'all stay tuned for tomorrow. The first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and remove the oxtails from the crock pot. All right, and this is going to give me access to the broth that's in here. Look at that. Ooh, it smells so good, y'all. I'm going to break them up and get as much out of here as possible. And they are actually fall off the bone tender. I'm gonna stretch this with some water when I make the gravy. I don't wanna add any other flavor to it because it's flavored good. So we don't want to put any extra anything in here to add to the flavor. Like, you know, chicken broth or beef broth or anything like that, even though this is beef. Okay, so what we're gonna do is add about two cups of water to this broth. And then when I get ready to make the gravy, I'll have enough liquid. And if I need to thin the gravy out anymore, I'll add more water only, no flavor. This is my two cups of water that I'm gonna go ahead and put in here. Probably gonna take about four cups total, but I wanna scrape down the sides. It's all I'm gonna start off with, y'all. Now let's start on the gravy. I'm gonna be putting in here one whole stick of butter and one cup of self-rising flour. Now, if you're gonna make a little bit of gravy, only put a half of a stick of butter and a half of a cup of flour. All right, we got that on. We're gonna let that butter melt and then we're gonna add the flour to it. The butter is almost ready. So we're gonna help it along a little bit. Now I'm gonna add the flour. Okay, 
And what we're gonna do now is this is a roux, all right? So we're gonna let this brown. Always remember when you're making your roux you're going to want to cook the flour so you want to let it get brown you don't want to start making your gravy too quick because if you do your gravy is going to taste like it has a lot of flour in it because it's not going to be cooked so you want to cook it Now it's starting to brown a little. You don't have to worry about getting it dark brown because our broth that we're using from the oxtails is already good and rich and brown. So we're not even gonna have to use any kitchen bouquet or anything today. All right, and those of you don't know, that don't know, this is kitchen bouquet. It is a browning sauce, okay? Now it does have flavor to it, but if you don't use but a little bit of it, it's gonna brown it beautifully without having a bitter taste. If you use too much of it, it's gonna make your food bitter. So be careful when you use it. All right, we're just gonna cook this a little bit more and then we're gonna go ahead and start adding our broth. Okay, y'all. That looks good. Takes about a good five, six, maybe seven minutes to get it to a good brown color. You don't want it too high. So right now I have my burner on like a medium heat. So it's like on a seven, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. It was on an eight, I'm gonna turn it down to a seven. Okay, look at that. That's really good and brown, okay? So it's gonna give us a really rich gravy. And we're gonna go ahead and start adding our water. We're gonna add the water first. Make sure that you scrape your sides. All right, now we're gonna turn it up some. adding your broth and you want to let it cook because you want it to thicken I like to use the rubber um, whisk because it's more fle flexible doesn't scratch your pan. So we're gonna let that cook for a little bit, thicken up, and then we're gonna add some more broth. Okay, let's add some more. And then we're gonna let that thicken. Look at that. 
Okay, so we are going to add the last of the broth. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna let that thicken. minute rice <laughs> okay this right here has saved me a lot of time in the kitchen I didn't used to like it for some reason but you know what now it's my go-to when I don't have time to give 20 minutes to cook some rice all right so how many y'all use that how many of y'all it has saved your life okay all right so now what we're gonna do is put our oxtails back in this here and let it simmer gently. Now these are already fall off the bone, so we don't want them to come all the way off the bone. But we want it to simmer in this juice so they can be real good and tender. I'm gonna turn it down to simmer. This is our finished product. It looks so good simmering right there. Now, I've only started eating oxtails in my adult years, but I love them, and I would not leave them out of this Christmas season. All right, guys, this concludes this video. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you want to be notified each time I upload a new video, please hit the notification bell below. Thanks, and God bless.